attempt at a retro PC build running DOS. I just put in the components, uh, collected the components. I guess this is an old P2 motherboard that um, Tao requested. This is a Dell motherboard. If you look carefully, you'll see some sort of Dell, but Dell has the weird 3.3 volt line that looks like an AT connector. And the pinouts for the power on is actually way over here. So that tells you the Dell uses proprietary. And after going through the, whoever sent me the motherboard sent me a bad stick of RAM. So, but there was two, so I only needed 128 gigs. Um, there's the NVIDIA card down here. There's a pass-through cable, so it actually goes into VGA mode and switches over to the NVIDIA mode in the software. And that is a sound card, CT4520, which apparently is compatible. I attempted to use an a compact flash about 10 minutes ago and it was not successful and I'm thinking a compact flash might have an issue with the LBA even though it's got an ID compatible input um, there are SSD solutions that will actually correctly map that so not too worried if I want to use an SSD the uh, King Spec does make a PATA SSD a 1.5 inch drive and I'm trying to look for something that actually plugs right into the EID interface and I know someone makes those and I just gotta find them because I've seen them actually a miniature ID miniature hard drives that you plug right in so I'll look for that in a bit but looks like we're ready to fire it up and see so let me plug in the, let's see, the cable I think I have it set to automatically power on so there we go As it's detecting the drives, it'll boot up, running old, good old 6.2 MS DOS. Very vintage in our tech time. This is like 96 technology. I think 1996. So it takes a while to boot up, but it will boot up. It says sound card fail, but I think it loads two different sound card drivers. There's a way to edit that one of the startup files. See if it loads. There we go. And I got the sound working. Apparently, I detected the sound. And because the fact this game does require its own I.O. control, you'll see that there is a cable here, blue cable, running over to their I.O. board and the other cable is just power and there's a homemade adapter I made that taps off the joystick controller which actually allows me to get a joystick as well as the other interface to credit and step and I think there is a redemption mode but I haven't yet actually played with that I'm pretty sure you can run a simulator or write some sort of a code for it but it works fine. Yay! I think it runs at the correct speed now because I'm running at a real P2 processor. Because I was able to run on a P4, but it didn't. My P4 didn't have a an ISA card because I think their drivers, there's only one driver in their list of drivers that support a PCI card, and I couldn't find that card. So all the other ISA cards, I think, are are supported four major cards that were at the time but it runs so and there we go that should be it for a old old rigged build